Welcome to Graphic Solution. Today I will teach you how to ask permissions from user using the new method called Register for Activity Result. Let's begin. Now, there can be three scenarios in asking a permission. User can accept it, or user can deny it, or user can click Never Ask Again, and then deny it. Now the permission is granted. To ungrant the permission, we will go into the settings of the app and take the permissions back manually. See the permission is not granted. We'll click it again. Now you can allow it and it just allow it again. Let's try out the other scenario. Never ask again. In this scenario, we will show a snack bar on which there will be a button which will take the user into settings where he can manually grant the permissions. Let's begin. The first step is to declare that we are going to use this permission in manifest file. Now let's create the layout for the main activity. Two nineteen. Okay, now that the layout is complete, I use this new method of view binding in order to access the views in my layout. I'm only using the view binding method, this is not necessary. This is just my choice. You can go with the old method of find view by ID as well. In the start of the activity, we will declare a variable in which we will register the activity of activity result contracts dot request permission and it will which is a lambda function that will return a boolean a boolean indicating whether the permission has been granted or denied if the boolean is true it means the permission is granted if it is not true it means the permission is not granted now if the permission is granted do whatever the thing that required that permission it means your job is done. In this case, I will change the text to permission granted. Else, if the permission is not granted, now there are two scenarios that can occur. One, the user selected never to ask the permission again. Second, if the user did not select never to ask permission again simply deny the permission just once so we will use this function called should show request permission rationale it will tell us whether the permission has been permanently denied or just denied once if it returns true it means that the permission is denied only once if it returns false then it means the user click never again button which means he permanently asked not to ask for this permission again Now the first scenario where the user say, and does not click never again, we will show a dialog where we will 
tell the user about the importance of the permission, why it is required and why he should permit it. What is the functionality that actually requires that permission? Kind of convince the user to give the permission. We'll show that dialog and in that dialog he can again just dismiss the dialog or click as So the dialog has two buttons, one a negative button which is no which will dismiss the dialog then one is positive button on clicking which we will ask permission again from user. So well, let's just create a function request storage permission in which we will ask the permission from user. We will use the variable that we created in first place request permission, we will launch it and in the input we will give the permission that we want to ask from user. Now we'll call this function in the ask permission again button. When it's pressed, ask the permission again. And of course dismiss the dialog as well. Now let's get to the case where the user click never ask the permission again. In that case, we will show a snack bar with a button called setting which will take the user into the settings of the app where he will manually adjust the permissions. Now we use another function in activity compat called check self permission. It takes a permission and checks if the permission is granted or not. If it is granted, it, result, it uh, returns package manager dot permission granted. 
so if activity compat dot check self permission context name of the permission is equal to package by nature dot uh, permission granted it means that the permission is already granted and we do not have to ask for the permission again so if the permission is granted do whatever you want to do else ask for the permission again One thing I left is when I click the button, then ask the permission. And one more thing that I missed is to show the snack bar. It will create the snack bar, but it will not show until you call the function show. Let's see how it works. <laughs> 